And welcome back as we start things off this morning. A few storm reports in from the action yesterday. We had some heavy rainfall near parts of Tomahawk and parts of Oneida County. And we also had some, ha some hail reports in Vilas and Price County. And also some wind reports over in parts of Oneida County and Rhinelander and also near parts of the Wausau area too. Obviously a lot of that has since calmed down. And now we're just watching the clouds that are developing this morning. Along with the heat and humidity, it's already a warm and muggy start across the north woods this morning as we're watching some showers moving in. From the west going toward the east, the heaviest of the rain now in parts of Taylor County with a little bit over in Price County and Oneida and Lincoln County too. A little bit in the Vilas County as well, but we're watching another round that's off toward the west. It's weakening as it tracks off towards the east, but either way though, we're still holding on to a few showers and thunderstorms that are moving from the west to the east this morning. Again, weakening, so we'll see something from this between the first round that's just off toward the west across our western counties and this round right here tracking off towards the east. So we'll see something this morning. This is round one here as round two will be arriving in the late afternoon and evening time frame. This will arrive during the morning and late morning in the afternoon period too. So we'll see a couple rounds before we're all finished up as we're already seeing this morning. But more action here with this cold front that will be moving in from the west going toward the east and that's what's going to give us round two with some stronger showers and thunderstorms as, as we get the daytime heating going. The temperatures right now are in the 60s and even 70s outside. Very muggy already and temperatures will be another warm one. Our average high is 80 degrees. We'll hit the upper 80s today. Then the cold front moves in and some relief. Upper 70s Wednesday, back in the 80s, Thursday, Friday, and a Saturday. Then 70s, some upper 70s. This is a change to the forecast as we head towards Sunday and even into Monday. Dew points, you can feel it outside this morning, right? The dew points, very similar to the temperatures in the 60s and even a few 70s out there. Very tropical air, pretty much like Florida. And of course, your muggy mirror is showing where the dew points will be going. They'll generally be going down later today in the overnight period, especially in the Wednesday. You might notice a quick little bump up into the 60s by Wednesday, but nothing like what we're seeing this morning. Then falling back Thursday into Friday. Before Friday afternoon, we'll be back in the lower to middle 60s for the dew points and then falling back into comfortable territory just in time for Saturday and a Sunday. Future gas watching some of those rain showers moving in from the west to the east. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder as well. Late morning in the afternoon period, we're already seeing some rain showers in our western counties as well. So we'll keep some of that going for a while. The round we have our eye on will be arriving in the late afternoon of the evening time frame too. Some of it during prime time with showers and storms. Some of those may try to turn strong to severe with large hail and damaging winds. We'll get that through. Then low pressure moves through and general showers and storms afterwards. Nothing severe with that as we head towards Wednesday. But for today though, there is a chance for severe weather. That two out of five risk of slight risk overall. So again, we're talking large hail and damaging wind potential with some of the storms that do get together during the late afternoon and early evening time frame. So mainly just round two that we're watching for that I have to keep an eye on during the afternoon and parts of prime time. But scattered showers and thunderstorms today. Highs in the upper 80s, warm and humid as well. That south wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. Later on, sunny scattered thunderstorms. Some could turn strong to severe. Again, large hail and damaging winds possible. Lows in the middle 60s, southwest wind getting up to about 30 miles per hour early and then backing off. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven day forecast. Wednesday, more storms on the way. Nothing severe there. We'll see highs falling back to the upper 70s. We're dry Thursday and Friday with a lot of sunshine temperatures in the lower to middle 80s. And then more storms just in time for the weekend.